Okay, um, so here's how we solve this problem. We got, a, we got an issue a little bit here because um, our regular order of operations is not going to uh, be the same. Here, remember we always undid addition and subtraction first, right? Well, that's not going to work when we have um, an equation written as a, um, a rational uh, expression over here. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to show you kind of two ways we could rewrite this, all right? So remember, I'm dividing by 2. Well, what is 2? What is being divided by 2? Well, x is being divided by 2, and a negative 5 is being divided by 2. So not one of them is being divided. Both of them are being divided by 2. So if you want to solve it by using the methods we've been using, you're going to have to rewrite it as x divided by 2 minus 5 divided by 2 equals negative 7. Right? And because remember, just think about it. Here you can't combine your numerators, right? But remember, when you subtract fractions, as long as they have the same denominator, you just subtract the numerators. Well, here the numerators can't be combined, so that's why it's written like this. Now, here you could use your inverse operations. You could add 5 halves to both sides and then multiply by 2 um, to get your variable by itself. However, that's kind of a different way. The main thing we can do is, remember when I was talking about fractions? Um, I said get rid of the fractions, right? When you have multiple fractions like this, even if they're same denominator or different denominator, especially when they're different denominators, we like to get rid of the fraction, right? That just helps us out. Here are the exact same thing. How can we get rid of this fraction? How can I undo dividing by 2? Well, I'm going to multiply by 2. Now, remember, you're not multiplying 2 by x. You're not multiplying 2 by negative 5. You're multiplying the 2 times this whole term or this whole kind of expression. So therefore, I have 2 times this divided by 2. So the 2 divided by 2 can just equal 1, which I can just get x minus 5. Now, I've got to be very careful. You've got to make sure since you multiply 2 on the left side of the equal sign, you have to multiply 2 on the right side of the equal sign. So therefore, I have negative 7 times 2, which is equal to a negative 14. Now, I'm just going to follow my inverse operations of a one-step equation and get this variable by itself. So since my variable is being subtracted by 5, I'm going to add a 5, and I have x equals negative 9. That means the value of my variable that makes the solution true is negative 9. Let's check our answer. Uh, negative 9 minus 5 is negative 14. Negative 14 divided by 2 is 7. So there you go. We're good.